Twitter. <laughs> I was trying not to laugh. <sighs> I was trying to see how long I could hold it, but I couldn't hold it. What's you're up, guys? It. You wrote it. What's I up, know. Fellas? I tried. I tried. What's going on? How are y'all doing? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Oh, wow. We've got children of all ages in here? Nice. I like that. I assume so. Jeff, what's going on, man? What you what you putting in your mouth, buddy? Some nicotine. Is that good for you? It's great for me. You ever it's swallow? It's bad for you if I don't have none. Oh, well, yeah. Then you need to take that, buddy. Because yeah. guess what? There's worse things that you could be doing in life. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I could be a crackhead. You could be. Um, I might as well be. It'd be cheaper than buying these airplanes. That's true. That is true. But I don't know, man. I think you're probably right. Yeah. The addiction is the same, though. It's probably on the same level. It is. You know, happy, happy Thursday, guys. You know what? What? I've got to grease this chair. Does it squeak a lot? Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah. Or you're just doing stuff in I'm that just chair. a fat boy. Or it's under a lot of stress. This chair is not. You could, I don't know why you don't get this chair. This thing's like nice and comfortable. So is this one. What's going on, guys? What is going on, Mountain RC? Dunson, Hen Hen uh, Henry, RC Paula Will. Look at Charles McDaniel. Charles, Charles McDaniel. McDaniel. Did he get the airplane? I think he said he got it. He did. He said last week he got it. Nice. Have you flown it yet, Don? I mean, uh, Charles. Oh, look, Craig Bevan liked that F-86 video. It was nice, dude. That that bird, it's it's a nice bird. We're going to talk about it. Now Johnny that you guys Stanford. have seen it, we're going to talk about it. Yeah. yeah, I just noticed something looking at our silhouettes here. What? You and I fill up these shirts differently. We do? What do yeah. you mean? Yeah. You fill it up here, I fill it up here. But it's what matters is you fill up the shirt. La, 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 la. That's what matters is you fill up the yep, shirt. Yep. Mm -hmm. Right. So, that's all that matters. Hey, hey, made it on time. What's up, Bill? We did. What's going on, Bill? Hey, look, guys. It's been a wonderful Thursday so far. Weather's been trash around here, though. Weather's been garbage. It's, garbage. It was it, it was great last weekend. We got some really good flying yeah, out on Sunday. Which is weird because it's like normally in March we don't get good weather. But in yeah. April, it normally starts kind of like leveling off. But I guess it's going to be pretty windy this weekend. I'm not going to be able to fly. So we will have to see. Nice. But, uh, yeah, man, what's going on, guys? How are y'all doing? Eddie KRC. We're going to talk about a couple of things. We're going to talk about that F-86, knock that one out the way. Um, and we're going to talk about that discount, dude, Jeff. I twisted Chris's arm, Chris's arm to get 140 bucks off. That's a lot of money off, if you think about it. Depends on how much you're spending, too, though. Yeah, but that's true. That's true. But think about this. That's 140 bucks that I'm like taking out of his pocket. And I'm not getting anything. Nothing. Nothing. This is like me having fun and flying the airplane. Nah. There's there's none of that stuff going on. And then I find out like, you know, there's been a couple couple of people over there trying to trying to get on, on board with it too. So they're trying to get on that discount too? Man, or just trying to get in the in their foot in the they're door. They're just trying to get their foot in the door, dude. And I'm like Oh, uh, gotcha. Sometimes you just gotta make your own way, man. You know? But Bobby, I gotta apologize for that one. I appreciate that, Jeff. I'm oh sorry. God. Oh man. <laughs> I'm not gonna let these people know on camera what we're what I'm suffering through. Uh, I was gonna say we, but it's just me guys. But uh let's see here. Uh, Bill says he's got that new Bumblebee, uh, but in camo. Nice. RC Pilot Will said, funny thing, Bobby, I uh, premiered. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we both, you know what was funny? is like when I dropped that video, he dropped his at the same time. Will did. The crazy oh, the L39? Thing, um, no, it was the uh, F-15 video. Um, and the weird thing was, is like I saw his, and I was like, man, what is that? And I clicked off of it. I, I thought something weird was going on. And so I clicked on mine. I was like. This is so strange. I didn't know exactly what was going on, but, you know, we're going to have Chris on the live. Um, not tonight, but I want to have him on here so you guys can talk to him. You can ask him all these questions you want. Um, I know you guys are talking about you've all heard parts, parts, parts with HSD. That was a past owner. This is the new owner. So he spent a ton of money getting parts. So, um, man, parts shouldn't be a thing. You know, it shouldn't be an issue at this point. The man's in it to make some bucks. So, nice. But, Bobby. Yes. Lana Randall has a great question. What's the question? Gentlemen, got a question. 
I live in Illinois, and the cicadas will be here in a month or so. Illinois. Do you think it's Noi? Illinois. Illinois. Do you think an EDF can survive ingesting them? That's a good question because, you know, cicadas can get big. Yeah, it depends how, how, how big they are, man. I imagine they probably could, but after a while, man, that thing's going to end up. I don't know. I mean, it's not like those, a rock. It's just we call those Jimmy. We call them uh, Jimmy Deans. You know, like the little, the little, little yeah, yeah. We call them little, little Jimmy Deans. Yeah, I don't know, man. I haven't seen uh, cicadas around here in a long time. Have you? They only come out like once every what few years. I don't know, but they're years. loud though. They're really loud. Let's, let's do a little googling. And we're going to Google because you know we don't. Fifty one said they taste like peanut butter. Do they? I've seen where people have like covered them things up in uh, chocolate. I don't yeah. know why you would eat them. But uh, Bill said, "Nah, I would not chance it. I don't think I don't think I would either." Ron Randall says, "I've flown EDFs and helis around cicadas, and it's no problem. You should be fine." There, there what are two the types of periodical cicadas. All right, one that come out every thirteen years, and ones that come out every seventeen years. They emerge in broads or broods, which are labeled with Roman numerals. Okay. In twenty twenty four, two broods will emerge. Brood, I don't know, and yeah. All right. So, I don't know what a brood is. So each brood, so there's a 13-year and a 17-year cycle all coming out this year. Just packs of cicadas. That's kind of... We should try that and see what ha actually happens. But you know what, though? I don't think it would mess up an EDF. I certainly wouldn't mess up... Well, it might mess up a turbine. Let's see. I don't know. We're going to do a little more Googling there, folks. Yeah. I have to find that out. I'm not sure. That's a good question. I just don't know. So, uh, yeah, but uh, so, okay, what do you ahead. think? Illinois? Not Illinois? What's up, Mike Metz? Even the bugs won't come to PA. That's funny. Is it that bad in Pennsylvania? Mike says, I heard they taste like Skittles. I don't think I believe any of that. I don't know where this, where this came up from. They're one to two inches in total length in most species. Good God. And they have a seven to eight inch wingspan. Those are the ones that look like the dude off of uh, the Disney cartoons, like the little Jimmy, Jimmy Cricket. That little guy is what I'm thinking. That's crazy. Talking, they got a 1.5 to 2.0 gram weight. Dude, that's cicada. huge. That's like that big. I don't understand. Let's see. Bill said they uh, they build up gunk and snap a blade. That's what I was thinking too. I don't know. Some of you guys that uh, fly out in the Midwest, what do y'all think? Like, do y'all actually fly out there and have those as an issue? That's not a, a thing for us, is it? But, you know, I'm going to fly anyways. Cicadas, mosquitoes, I birds. Care. Yeah, we got turkey vultures here that we chase with airplanes. We do. I don't know if we chase them, but we think we might. I mean, I think, yeah. They're pretty quick, too. I, they're, they're I'm big. surprised. Yeah. They've got, like, 12-foot wingspans. I heard they want to get excited, they throw up. Huh. They puke. Yeah, I heard that. That's nasty. Let's see. Um, Crash Test it, Dummy says they could break fan blades. I would imagine so. Let's see. George Cook says, I hate bugs. I do, too. I can't stand when you have, you're out there at the field and you're trying to fly and you got those, like, gnats around your face. Oh, it's horrible. How many cicadas to CG your plane? Oh, man. <laughs> I would imagine you probably have to put a good pound of them in there. <laughs> R.C. Paula Will says, I can imagine the fan balance will be so bad with EDF will explode. You know, all these it's people right. keep talking. I see people saying, put a strainer, put a screen. Yeah, like you that know, on the turbines. I, I know, but what a, I could just... Uh, that screen on a turbine is like a stainless steel mesh screen. Yeah, it's mesh. Versus, uh, you know, I can just see somebody putting some window screen, oh, taping sure. it to the outside oh, of the, yeah. the intake, yeah. and then it gets sucked right through. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. I would agree. Let's see. Lana Randall says, how will Jeff act if a cicada lands on you? Like a look. I don't mind a cicada. I don't think they're that bad. I don't mind a snake. Oh, I don't do a snake. I just nah. don't like spiders. Nah, I don't do the spiders. Spider uh, spiders wig me out, man. Uh, Omar says, "Welcome back, Jeff. Nice stand, big homie. I ain't nah, too bad. Like, yeah, it was a good time. Back. It was a good time. Did the you cruise, have the cruise was fun. What was the best part about the cruise? Uh, the casino. Yeah. No, the views were great. The views were great. Oh, I'm sure. Uh, do you casino. mean like the 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 views, like the actual people, or the actual like no, like the the, the nature landscape. views, like oh, wow. you know, seeing the island, you know, yeah. Half Moon K, Nassau. You know, I went. First thing I did in Nassau was I got off the boat and went and found somewhere to get my hair cut. Oh, did you really? Yeah. This Jamaican that? dude was cutting my hair, and I was just like, all right, cool. That's interesting. He shaved me and then pulled all my hair. Like, it was great. That's weird. It was awful. That's it was, strange. It, his, his blade wasn't sharp. You said it was awful. I was wondering. <laughs> I was like, was it actually sharp? 
No, no, no. It was it was about like this one here. Oh, okay, good, great. Uh, but you know, the unlimited nasty pizza, man. I don't know about nasty, dude. That uh, I like. The now, if you pizza. ordered the pizza from the restaurant, yeah, I could see it being nasty. But you go to the brick oven pizza, dude. I, I bet I had thirty five of them. Yeah, there. I was gonna say you can get as many as you want. Let's see, unlimited nasty pizza. How many lobsters for dinner? Oh, dude, they I don't do the lobsters just, anymore. Yeah, do they? They do. yeah I do think they? we had uh. I had three or four lobsters oh, while we were there on man. the boat. Dude, that's not enough. I mean, that's yeah. I had like I had ten. A few steaks. I was in there cracking um, those things, like using their tails to crack it all. Man, I was getting it in. Sushi. Had sushi. Yeah. The Italian wasn't worth two cents. Really? Yeah, it wasn't good. Huh. But they have a place called Guy's Burger. Okay. It was like phenomenal. That was like some of the best burgers. Guy's Burger. Man. Well, if yeah. you guys see where we are wearing the uh, the excess uh, RC shirts. You know, we got those. That's the brand from, um, you know, uh, HSD Jets. It's their 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 channel they got. So, guys, nice. go there, check it out. They shot us some of these uh, T-shirts. You know, they're kind of like a little sweet, a little snug, you know, but uh, it is what it well, is. Well, I got a bed sheet, so mine fits just fine. Yeah, you look like you look pretty good in yours, but, you know, mine this fits. color isn't flattering for me, honestly. It's not. But, uh, you know, you can't, you can't have your cake and eat it, too. Cry me a river. I mean, honestly, look. <laughs> But guys, let's see here. Um, oh man, so Jeff. Yes, Bobby. I was gonna talk about something. What you gonna talk about? I was gonna talk about that E flight to Catalan to RJG that we have right here. We're gonna crack this bad boy open and show you guys. It looks pretty decent from out here. Is we gonna open it up? We're gonna open it up eventually. It runs on 3S to 4S, so uh, stay tuned because we're gonna crack that thing open. And uh, we're going to see exactly what that looks like. Hey, crack that back. Huh? We're going to crack that crack thing that open. Crack that back right there. We're going to crack that thing open and see uh, how it does. Uh -huh. I think it's going to be pretty fun. I think it's going to be small, but cool. I think so, too. I mean. You know it was a lot of fun? What? That Cherokee. We had a great time, man. We went out there to the field, and we flew that E-Flight Cherokee. That was a great flying airplane, man. I slipped up said the other one. Oh, did you? Yeah, well, <laughs> hey. That would have hey, been good. That would have been funny. But I'm telling you, that Cherokee. <laughs> Those LED lights are super bright on that thing, it man. I'll wait for you too. to dribble some down, but you're good. You're, I'm good, you're man. A pro. I do, yeah, I do, do it down a straw. What I, are you can, about? I can see that. But yeah, man, that that thing went really good. It actually, it actually was pretty nice. So, oh, let's see. There's a great seam and zooms. You know what? Don't get me started. I'm also. I'm still. What are you still salty about, Omaha? Uh oh. -uh. What are you he, salty about? What what happened he, here? He said the pizza was nasty. He said unlimited nasty pizza. I can't even. All right, say hey, pizza. spill the beans there, Omaha. Yeah. What's the deal? He says. Yeah. That has a great scheme and it zooms, so that's good. But what's where's the beans? Paul oh, HSD. Oh, HSD. Ah. Yeah, man. We're gonna talk about the HSD jet, dude. It's a good. It's an awesome jet, man. It's <sighs> a really good flyer. It flies really nice, and uh, be be prepared. We're gonna do the the free yes. wing versus yes. the banana hobby, the X fly yes. model. So it's coming. RC Plane asked a question. He says, "RC Plane reviewer, any tips to fight the urge to buy more and more?" Yeah, yeah. Just empty buy, your wallet. Yeah, just empty your wallet and buy more and more. That's that's the only way. You're chasing obtainium, dude. What? You you'll never get it, Bobby. Yeah. The prop and spinner. Are already on the airplane. No way. Let me see. That's crazy. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I got that DJI Vada, too. We got to show people. Oh, wow. Look at that. How much is this thing? What's this thing going for here? Money. It's definitely going for money. That's it. $269.99. That's not bad. Hey, I had a pocket knife. You know what's funny? Jeff has a piece of, like, Davy Crockett's uh, hat on the floor over here. Yeah. And, uh... Haggard hobby. I keep thinking it's a uh, cat, a cat or something. So we're gonna crack that thing open, and we're gonna talk about that. Yep. Hey guys, uh, we're definitely gonna talk about that UMX F86. I thought that was pretty funny as I come out with that big massive um, HSD F86. Then they come out with that little dinky, um, you know, UMX uh, F86. Yeah, um, but they had that UMX. Great planes a offered it a long time ago. A yeah. long time ago. Yeah. Remember, I had one. I just don't understand. Omaha Air Defense says, I'm banned from buying HSD North America. No, you're not. Maybe you are. I don't know. You must have done something. And if you are, hey, get a friend to buy you one then. You know, you don't have to go get it. Let's see. Um, any tips to fight the urge to buy more and more? Yeah, just buy them. Just buy what you want, my friend. You know, you only live once. You can't take any of this stuff with you. You just can't. But uh, we're going to crack into this one. We're going to see what this is looking like. And so uh, we're going to jump into it. Let's see here. 
I'm just doing it while you're talking. Yep. I like the one piece wing. Oh, nice one piece wing. So that's cool. Oh wow, how's that look? Oh, that's not bad. Look at that. Man, that thing looks pretty good. So you can take a look at this right here. You can see it has the uh, the little servo lead that snaps into the top of the wing. Really nice gloss on this uh, top wing. I don't know if y'all have seen that, but I'm going to show it to you right there. We got a light on the tip right there. Super glossy. What is that? Oh, okay. That looks like it's supposed to be like some type of fuel cell or something like that on there. Top of the wing. But you can see how bright and colorful that is. It's not bad. Getting into it's like getting into Fort Knox, though. It looks like it. Bill says that bird needs flaps. Most of the Cathalons don't have flaps. Don't have flaps at all. Yeah. So this one is uh is good to go. But you can see, look, it's supposed to uh, you know, snap down and everything. Check that out. That's pretty cool. Man, try not to tear anything up. But uh, it looks to be of a good size, man. On 3s and 4s, this actually might be pretty decent. But so far, I'm liking what I see. I like that it has little lights on the end. The lights on that end, a little red and green. So that's not bad. Agaraska says, real decathlons don't have flaps. Yep, just like we said. So uh, Bill says, windows look like poo. We're going to find out if they do look like poo um, because we believe that they are stickers. What's going on, old Haggard Hybrid? She says, let me get that when you're done with it, Bobby. You know how this goes. He knows the game. Yeah. By the way. What? Have you seen he knows the game that Bobby has no loyalty? Hey, have you seen the game? Have you seen the um, – the the turbine that old Hagger Hobbies has got coming. I did, yeah, yeah. It looks pretty decent. Y'all just wait till you see my turbine. Looks pretty decent. So. Oh, I said that too loud. That's all good. We Z knew you'd cave and get Zach one. Zach ain't supposed to know. Oh yeah, he already knew you were gonna get one eventually. We all we all knew this. It's just the trend you gotta follow. I saw a little baby fuselage though. Wow, look at that. Okay, we're well, gonna look at this little baby fuselage right there. Wow, that is tiny. Prop was already on there. Prop was already on there. Okay. I like the painted prop. It's actually, yeah, it's painted. That's actually not bad looking. Sorry, I'm not. I'm doing you guys a disservice. But uh, take a look at that. So it comes like this out of the box. The windows, I thought they were stickers. They're actually painted, guys. That's not a sticker. So that's painted, and it looks really well. It's actually pretty thick. I don't know if you can see that, but that's that's what you're looking at. So take a look at that. It's really not that bad. I'm actually surprised. I was expecting some some stickers for some reason. And we also have a light right here. So that's cool. And you also have this uh, little bay right there. So you can put your uh, battery in there. So that's kind of cool. It's really not a bad airplane, Jeff, for the money. You know what I like? What do the you ball like? links. It's got ball links on it. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah. And the clevises are already on there. So that's cool. Um, I like that there's no gluing, Jeff. There's absolutely no gluing. And it comes with an AR-31, uh, guys. Hey, Horizon. Already in there. How about throw a two-millimeter uh, little key Allen key in here with yeah. these planes? Can you do that? I mean, it's got to be a penny. And then you send this one. Like, look, this has got like a 1.5. Like, not well, many people have a 1.5. No. You do. If you have a true kit, you do, you do. yeah. <laughs> I said you but do. I mean, not everybody. Yeah. But no. Nah, you know the worst part about putting on these kind of airplanes is? I don't like putting on the gear. But these gear. They just... Clip right underneath, bro. No, man, they got one, two, they got six screws in there. That's a lot of little screws. We should put four in there and just call it a day. Here you go. Let's throw this on there. Though. All right, we're going to put the top wing on there. We're going to build this thing for you guys. Michael says, if you like it, fly it. That's right. Let's see. What's up, Mikey? Uh, hey, uh, Hagger Hobby says, <laughs> Jeff trying to be like his daddy. Oh, man, that's funny. Oh, on my air defense, it says, oh, hey, don't Zach. forget. To speed test the F-86 before I forget to say something. Oh, Omaha, we're definitely going to speed test it. I'm guessing it's cruising around at a 120. Some dude today on the video, this is this is what I don't stand for. Some dude today on the video was like, that airplane ain't going to do over 100 miles an hour. He put it in there, and I'm like, should I respond to this, Jeff, or should I just delete it? I just deleted it. I'm like, dude, if you're not going to say anything positive, I mean, why even? Why even comment? I like the thumb screws on the top of the wing. Oh, it's got two or one? Yeah, it's got two thumb screws. Oh, nice. Yeah, those are the ones that are like kind of, they got grip on it. A little so bit of cool. grip, yeah. And I'm mess around. Yeah, that's a nice plane. So I know the gear go. Yeah. Like so. It's not a bad looking bird, is it? I no, can see how no. this thing's going. Hold that thing right there, sir. Got it. I got you. You're going to put all them screws in there? We'll see. 
the way this works is this goes there. Yep. And then this goes. Because building airplanes with friends is fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it is fun. It is fun. No, it's more it's more fun than doing it by yourself. And think about this. Yeah, it doesn't have flaps, guys, but that's another channel that you don't have to worry about. Well, you don't have to worry about they it anyway. make these for beginners, man. Yeah. And I was getting ready to say something, Jeff, that I shouldn't say. I was getting ready to say, you know, we haven't really tore up any airplanes in a long time. We really haven't. So... I shouldn't have said that now, guys. I feel like that was a problem. Manga says, no, it's not a warbird, but call it whatever you want, for sure. Is the air tractor considered a warbird? Absolutely not. Zero Box 65 says, all aerobatic birds should have ball links. I agree, man. And I think well, there's the Horizon's caught on. There's just a, a That's quick the profile. preview. Whoa, he's trying to take me out. It's all good. You only live once. That's true. It'll grow back. That's what I tell people. What is this thing? It'll grow back. That was a clip in there. Like, oh, okay. I don't think you needed it. Okay. Dude, look at this little thing. And look, it's got rubber. Well, no. It's got little foamy wheels. But that that's a well. That's a good looking little plane. And look, it's got an actual light on the tail because there's the plug. No, really? Where's the plug in for it? Somewhere in there? I guess it's somewhere in there. Let's dig it out. Here, I'll hold it for you. Oh, it's right there in oh. the tail. Oh, so yeah. you just go straight in. Just go straight in. That's kind of cool. It's a lot of detail to this little airplane. So, like I said, at the hobby shop, 169 at Raleigh Hobby. He had a couple of these. 269. I said 169. Yeah. 269. He had a couple of these things, Jeff. And he had like five of them or four or five. And this was the last one that he had. So they are flying off the shelf, man. Good, good flying birds. They look really good. It's hard and to see, guys, but. You want me to hold it up for you? Inside the tail. Look inside that tail. That little slit. Right there. That slit. Yeah, let's get, let's, let's let them see the slit, Jeff. You know what? Yeah, they can see that. See, so you got a, a light on the tip of your rudder. Yeah, right there. And then there's the plug. So we got to plug that in. All right. As we set this down. It actually has really good weight to it, too. It's not a light airplane. It doesn't feel cheap, does it? No. It doesn't really feel cheap at all. I'm pretty surprised. Oh, you didn't put them screws in there. No, dog. Man, we got to put them screws in there. We can put them screws in there in a minute. I don't blame you. I don't blame you not one bit. And after we get done putting this thing down, we're going to have a little talk see about checking airplanes that are new. What and is a talk see? We're, we're going to do a, we're gonna do a little talk see. New talk -see stuff. We're going to do a little talk see, Jeff. You know, we, we sit down and we're going to talk about, you know, expectations on airplanes. I was talking to a guy today and um, Oops. just talking about, don't tear it up. I'm not. I agree. I know you got them big old hands, man. Sometimes it's uh it's rough. But we're talking about um, you know, as you buy a new airplane, a lot of people are being let down by the F uh, 14. You know, they're having some issues with them. Um, the airplanes are giving out, wings aren't sweeping, bad servos. So I was talking to someone and we we're just talking about expectations as like when you buy an airplane, right? In what reality is kind of like when you buy a brand new car, the expectation is yeah, it's going to do this high. exactly, but then reality shows you that it's yeah, just that's just kind of thrown together, guys. All right, but look, there it is, Jeff. You did a great job, man. That's thrown together, and that's what this airplane looks like. I mean, it's a that's a nice looking scheme, isn't it? It does look better in person than you know, versus the uh, now why not make a two meter version of this? Like you can do that or do the what's that the <laughs> SWS version? Do we have it done yet? What? Pop this hatch, guys. Oh, I popped it open earlier. So you can see inside. Nice. Look how spacious that is. You can put a three thousand in there or four thousand. Smartest thing I believe I've seen Horizon do when it comes to these airplanes. When you buy an airplane, yep. What do you have to do once you get everything hooked up? What do you have to do? Find it. Find it, right? Right. Most of these airplanes, the bind plug is gonna be way back here. Yep. Check this out. They got it right here. They gave you a little a extension, spot. Look, an extension. It's in a spot, screwed already. There, stationary, not going anywhere. Good That's job. smart. Good job, Horizon. That way, you're not digging around the fuse. Good job, you're pulling, you know, yeah. light wires out. That's a well thought out bird. You, 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 you did your thing yeah. right there. And I hope these are selling really well because it looks really good, and I think they're selling extremely well. Um, so you got That's going to be a fun flyer in the front. 
So you got nice. one here, one there, one there, and so you got one in the four back. lights total, right? Uh, no, you got six lights total. Is it two in there? Yeah. I saw green and red. The only thing I, I don't I noticed they went back with instead of the surface mount LEDs, yeah. they went back with the old style like five millimeter LEDs. But they put that little plastic on there, which yeah, that amplifies plastic isn't it. Yeah, isn't going to diffuse it enough. Though. Yeah, I think that's what they're trying to get over at. Yeah, them SMDs were a lot better. Hey, what do you guys think? Is this something that you would <laughs> that you would buy? I mean, it's not a bad looking bird. It really isn't. It's not. Yeah. It's a little. It's a little on the small side for me. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, man, I'm loving it. You think about it. What's what? Let me see what motors it got in. It doesn't say. Not there. That's not bad at but all. You remember how we did the mall conversion in the RV7? Oh, yeah. Imagine doing something like that in this. Dude, Dude. that's crazy. I wonder if it even needs it. It might not need it. You it know? might not, but I'm looking at it, and it has a 3536, 1,030 kV spectrum motor in there. So that's a lot of that. That's a lot of power. On 4S, that's unlimited. That thing's got to be like ballistic. So. Well, we're going to find out. Well, there you have it, folks. Yeah. I'm hoping maybe this weekend we get some well, Saturday's weather. gone. we got new appliances being delivered Saturday. Nice. Nice. And uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, but then again, I'm not looking forward to it. Is there a fly-in? No, that's next yeah, week. Yeah, Kenton's this weekend, oh, but I'm not going to Kenton. I can't go it's to It's supposed Kinston to be either. windy. Uh, Jared Kirby actually sent me a message, and I told him, I said, you know, if you want to, this is like the halfway point, so if you want to crash here. Yeah, you, know, you can come here, and hang out for the night. Well, we're not going to go there and crash. We can do that on our yeah, own field. Absolutely. So, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed that. That's a nice uh, looking bird. I just hope it doesn't fall down. It's not going to go nowhere. I feel like it's going to be good. But yeah, so there you have it, dude, Jeff. We just that's built like that the thing. perfect height too. It is. It oh, really I is. Can, it's a good looking tilt bird. That camera up just a little. Check there that out, go. guys. Check that out. So let's see. Bill says I like the wing struts too. Yep, I'd buy it. Love them little planes like that. Uh, RC flying veteran said it's not for him. Um, Seth Greenberg says it, that is their Valiant replacement. Yeah, you know, they got rid of that Valiant too early, I think. I think the, the big one was really nice. Yeah, the 30cc? Uh-huh. Or is it? Yeah, 30cc. OMP makes a much nicer Bossa Decathlon, a bit bigger, just a few dollars more. That's not bad. You can never go oh. wrong with Bossa. What ESC is in there, Bobby? They're at, um, oh. Craig Bevan's asking. It's got, it's the got smart, a 45-amp smart light ESC. And I bet it can reverse. With a 3S, 4S setup. Um, it's a really nice setup. It's, it I'm really surprised. doesn't look bad, man. No, it, it actually lie. is a surprise. When I seen it on the, on the, when they released it, I was like, yeah, it kind of looks dinky, man. I thought it looked pretty cheesy. Let's just call it spade a spade. But uh, yeah, man. Dude, what's going on? Oh, is it because the backlight's on? We all look washed out now. You can probably <laughs> cut that. <coughs> so I. Uh, that looks good. <clears throat> bless you. I'm dying over whatever here. Whatever you're doing. I mean, I'm not dying, but I'm coughing. I don't know what you're doing over there, but bless you. Oh, man, I'm clearing those lungs. Man. Let's see. So, let's see. It's cool. It seems like it may be decent trainer type. On 4S, I think that thing's going to be a good... It, uh, it's it's kind of like <clears> that, <throat> that aerobatic one. Cherokee, man. Oh, that Cherokee, first... yeah. That Cherokee was a ton of fun. That Cherokee was a really nice bird. I can't wait for that video that to drop sunset, out. sunset, that... that Dusk flight, man. Was yeah. Great. Golden but hour flight. That's what I was trying to spit out. Golden hour. Yeah. I'm over here trying to catch my breath, man. So I take Jeez. your breath away. Oh, oh how man. sweet. Who sings that song? What's the name of the person? Oh, oh, wow. You, you yeah. actually tried to sing. Uh -huh. No, I didn't try to sing it. I can't carry a tune in a bucket, Joe. Rodeo Pilot says, Does it fly like a timber? It flies like a timber on steroids, except it probably the, the timber flies better. I don't know, man. That plane's super light. I bet it's going to fly probably I, just I, it's, it's going to be better. When I say better, I mean it's going to be more aerobatic, you know, but. I'd like to see, you know, once we get it linked up, you know, what kind of deflection yeah. we've got. I mean, if we can get that kind of deflection, Bobby. Oh, yeah. That would be nuts. Yeah. Like, yeah, that would be great. That's not a bad looking bird, honestly. I think it needs a little, you know, a little more ailerons because that's full aileron. I agree. Seth Greenberg says that thing should haul the mail, sir. Should All we gotta do, mail. hey, we could just move it down, move it down a notch or two. Yeah, and that'll give it way more thrust. Snap that wing. It's I'll okay, let, baby. We'll I'll put you, it through the paces. I'll let you do that, man. We had such a good time though Sunday flying. We hadn't had a day like that in a long time. It was a good, it, and I was there all, all day. day. All day. Jeff got got some good flying in, man. That was a good day. I think I'm gonna sell the laser though. Jeff, let me fly his I mean, laser. The slick. The slick. The slick. Was the it little, the laser I flew or the slick? Flew, okay, one. man. Mm, I don't know. Yeah, that thing flew good. If the big one flies as good as that or better, 
Mountain RC says, it's got lights. Are we getting a night flight? <laughs> oh, man. We scored you guys with that night flight. It's really windy here because we yeah. got storms that have come through. Yeah. So I don't think how well that would um, that would do tonight. Yeah, I don't think it would do now, well at all. I'm not scared to fly at night. He's You've not, seen this. Don't test them, guys. Um, but, <laughs> don't yeah, test them. As windy as it is, just, I'd rather not push it. Just not one of those guys to test. He'll, he'll, he'll do it. He'll do it. Let's see. Bill Shepard says, dang, I landed on the best live stream on YouTube. Hey, man, we appreciate that, Bill. Yeah. We love that, man. We try to have a good time, come out here, talk that talk, and just be completely honest about it. Let's see here. We got 52 people in the room. If you can give us a thumbs up, that would be wonderful, guys. Tall Guys RC said that plane flies great stock. Okay. See, that's that's what we need to hear. What's yeah. up, Tall Guys RC? Good to have you in here, buddy. Um, Yeah. See, that's what you want. That's what you want. You want the good ones like that. And Jeff, let's talk about the I wish, UMX. I wish StreamYard would tell us right here how many thumbs up we get. I do, but we can't. We can only see it like um, down here. Doesn't no, it show you? Uh, uh no. Like I we wish used it, to be able to I see. I wish it. it popped up right here, like it. Was oh, on YouTube. oh yeah. But yeah, you gotta oh, it breaks it down. Yeah, on who's so forty eight on YouTube and four on Facebook. Yeah, I know Jeff Ashby's on Facebook. Oh, cool. Well, Jeff Ashby, I hadn't he seen him. In a he while. commented earlier talking about the one point two to two yeah, or one point five to two point zero. Eddie K says, I believe that Extreme Flight is going to make a nice chipmunk. Um, oh, speaking of um, Extreme Flight uh, Flex Innovations, uh, I picked up the RV8, so that one will be coming out, man. That'll be a good flyer. Um, i got to get a spinner for that one, Jeff. I, gotta you know, get a I thought I had one off of my cat. I don't know. I'll look. I but... need, I need, I, or I could just go buy one, but I need, I need a spinner. I wanted an orange one to complete it, but yeah. Lots of cool airplanes coming out, guys. And and here's here's the thing here. Like, I'll, I'm going to go ahead and tell you what the deal is. I get tired. Every time somebody runs out, they come up with an airplane. You know, everybody runs out there, right? Like, we need to switch up and diversify and try different things. Everybody is was doing the, the F-14, right? You know? Yeah. So, I'm not going to do the F-14 right away. And also, another reason why, Jeff, and you know this, I don't buy them first production airplanes because – I everybody's remember. having the servo issues. Everybody's having servo issues. And I keep saying, I'm well, like, guys. I, okay, not everybody, guys. Just people that we've talked yeah, to. Yeah, people that we've talked to. We're not going to say that. That's a very good thing because I'm sure Motion RC guys that are watching are like, oh, that's not true. Yeah, we're not saying that. We're just saying the people that we know that have the airplanes have had some sort of uh, issue with the airplane or something like that. For anybody wondering. What is that? This is the strut transport clip. Oh. So the struts clip onto this right here. Oh, yeah, yeah. When, it's, the top. when it's on the wing. So it I keeps see. it stationary to the wing if you're going to separate it. Fair enough. Didn't it's, think about that's it. That's what it says there, strut transport. It's not they actually put that on there. But, um, but yeah, so I'm just kind of holding off, and we're going to see what's going on with that. But I like to do other airplanes. What's going on, TJ? How are you doing, buddy? That man changes pictures, like, all the time, dude. Look at him over there. But uh oh, playing that pickleball. Oh, playing pickleball, man! That man loves some pickleball. We need to we need to come out there and play with him, Jeff. Show him how it's done. I've never that, played that pickleball in really my life. Wrong. It did. <laughs> it did. But TJ, I appreciate you. <laughs> but yeah, I like to do airplanes that are different. Try to do something different that not everybody's doing. Um, and yeah, it gets expensive. HSD jets. That airplane is expensive, but it was cool for uh you know, Chris to allow me to do something that I've never done before. And that's actually review one of those things. And you saw the video. It was absolutely magical. Um, we'll pull it up real quick for some of you guys. I don't know if you haven't seen it or not, but you need to see it because it's really good. The next thing I'm going to tell you is this. It was extremely difficult to try to get uh, a discount code that was of some sizable funds right because you have to think about this this is 140 bucks that this guy is not gonna get because of the 10 percent off but we twisted his arm we worked it out and he was cool with it and uh such a nice dude um and so we are uh we're trying to trying to do different things for you guys right so you can't ever say you know we didn't do it for the hobbies and like i said um it's just one of those things that I'm just trying to Bobby. do. What's up? The code is RC uh, Plane Reviewer ten percent off. Jeff, this thing. Yes, it goes in there. 
It goes just like this. See the little holes? Yep, they match up. Check that out. How cool is that, Jeffrey? And it clips there, so that way it stays there for uh, future references. Is that right? Well, I'll be dang. That's a southern thing for you guys. Well, I'll be dang. That's pretty neat. Uh, Am I think it's Amber. Amber? Uh, Who's Amber? I don't know. Where'd it go? Aeroscot model engine repair. What is going on? Man. Amber Ring 77 said. <sighs> I got to tell you guys something. On top of glue. Somebody said that it went in the right fuselage. Here. Right here. Amber 77. I like that the battery tray is screwed down instead of glued. Oh, maybe Who I'm said sure. something about that? Thought, is that where you got the idea? Maybe it's down a little further. Maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got so many people in here. There is a lot. Let's oh, see. Oh, I'm way up there. I don't know how it is. There it is. Yeah. It fits in fuselage. Amber 77 says it fits in a fuselage. And there it goes. That's that's pretty smart. That is extremely smart. That is like smart. thinking of, of, no, ahead no. of the curve. That's well That's well thought out, guys. You've got to give credit where it's due. You like, just do. That's Bill impressive. even said it. He says, and that clip clips the battery box area, store its yeah. spot. So Right there, guys. Mountain RC said, you said something about looking over new plate, new planes? I'm not going to hit the fan. I yes, Mountain RC. You're funny because I did think that. That's what you're looking at. Mountain RC, you're absolutely right. We're going to talk about something about looking over new airplanes and expectations. But first, um, we got our, our buddy in there, man. I didn't even see when he came in there. Our buddy. Yeah, man. Uh, Aeroscot model engine repair. Look, just so you guys know, and thanks for coming in here, too. He says, hi, Bobby. Great coverage regarding the current offerings of foamy electrics. Rest in peace and internal, internal combustion engines. Hey, they're not going to go any far. I still got a ton. Me and Jeff got That's what I, a I ton prefer. of gas plants. Yeah, I still prefer gas plants. So uh, I don't think they're going anywhere. I hope not. But, um, guys, Aeros uh, Scott model engine repair. If you have a gas engine that doesn't work right, doesn't run right, you oh, can this is send the guy you sent it to? Okay. Yes, you can send it to him. I've heard about you, but I've never met you. Nice to meet you, buddy. There you go. Yeah, you can send it to him if you're still doing that, um, and he will fix it and send it, send it back, take pictures, so you know exactly what's going on. Dude, these guys that do this kind of engine repair are, are – uh, <laughs> there's not a lot of them, so you got to take care of these dudes. We'll sit fly it tonight. I'm telling you. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, thanks for popping in here. So Bill says, what's that discount on, Bobby? That discount is on the big F-86 um, Sky Blazers. That's the, the, the silver, red, and blue. So I can pull it up and show you guys. But it's $140 off of that big A airplane, and that's a noticeable amount. Big so donkey airplane. It's a big donkey of an airplane. So, And it's if you're going to get a big airplane, a lot of people are saying this, Jeff. This is what I'm hearing. I'm just going to say it. A lot of people are saying, that's a whole lot of money for foam. Yep. I've said it. It's it a flying cooler. It is. However, Jeff, where all the airplanes that we're flying are typically foam, unless you're going to the wood ones, right? Like the balsa planes. How much are those balsa planes that we fly? How mm. much is the balsa plane that you fly? A lot. $3,000 yep. or more. Yep. So when you think about it in the grand scheme of things, everything costs more. If you're gonna If you're going to get a big EDF airplane, you have to look at this thing as a transition, a trainer into the turbine airplanes if you're going to do it. So while you're investing it, that thing has a lot of value. It's got that MFC, um, that multifunction controller that's in there that controls everything. They even have some models that have a gyro built in. It has gyro stabilized front landing gear. I'm not trying to sell you guys on it. I'm just telling you. I hear a lot of people say that's a lot of money for foam. I watched that HSD flight. It was great. Dude. Yeah, I got to get you on the sticks too, dude. It's great, dude. It's 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 it is legit. Um, it absolutely is. And look, Haggard Hobbies actually had the turbine version, so I think the turbine version would probably fly better than the um the electric. But I'm told, uh, Chris told me that they both fly the same, and the electric EDF in there is as powerful um at peak as a eighty you know Shui wind. So I'm telling you, but I'm old school, guys. Nothing flies better than balsa, but in the turbine jets, I'm really privy to these these foam birds, man. That foam is hard as wood. So let's see here. Uh, let's see. Jerry Wolfong um, has HSD started carrying parts for their aircraft. Last year, they didn't carry repair parts. That was a big deal. And look, you guys know me. I asked them point blank. I said, look, I said, 
if 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 I'm going to review the airplane, I just want you to know this is what I'm hearing and this is what people are saying. And I told him point blank, and he says, I understand. The past owner did not carry a lot of parts. He just didn't. He didn't care about parts. This new owner, Chris, he has parts, and he has spent a ton of money on parts. And if he doesn't have it, it's on ship containers right now coming. <clears throat> so he understands that um, that people believe HSD jets historically didn't have parts, and that was like a big holdback. That was a holdback for me, honestly. Yeah. And so, um, but that's not an issue now, is what he's saying. He's saying he's got parts. Um, they're coming, and so you know, you just it's just one of those things that if you look at everybody, hell, excuse the language, but Horizon Hobby, they run out of parts all the time. All the time. All the time. They, they run out of parts before they even list them. Exactly. They'll list it. Oh, on back order. Hobby you just King. listed it. Hobby King. They run out of parts. Yep. Banana Hobby. If they run out of parts, they get parts in. They have I, more coming in. I can't in. tell you how many things I bought for Motion that said last one in stock. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. I will say Banana Hobby is a little bit different, though, because they will get them from overseas and they will air mail them over here quickly and just to get the parts to make people happy they do do that differently but i'm just saying so while a lot of people have been saying that it's you know eddie k wants to know bobby have you flown fms f86 and how does it compare to the bigger hsd i have not flown f86 and you're, you're like why haven't i flown f86 because i've flown the free wing f86 they all fly the same they they they're like they're the same airplane same size uh the F86 power plant I had the high performance one I didn't really see the point in getting the FMS one after I flown the free wing yeah well, I mean and after I had the free wing I wanted this big one I was like let me just go to the big one instead of getting the small one especially if I've I've already flown it so F86 just fly great guys it's just a good flying platform so I skipped that one maybe Mount, I'll come back to it later Mountain RC says I don't particularly like to think about how much my planes cost. You can't nope. fly the money. You're right. But also only fly planes I can handle with my current skill level. That's what I've been saying. Yes. And, you know, I think Zach told me, if you fly the money, you won't enjoy the plane. Absolutely. And I'm and telling you. You see the way I throw them planes around down there. Like, yep. Yep. You, you worry that, okay, there's a $5,000 airplane. What if I put five grand in the grass? You know what? You put fly. five grand in the grass. Yeah. Yep. You know, it's gone. So. You'll salvage the part from it and build yep. another yeah, if you if you separate yourself from how much it costs, you'll have more fun. The hobby is only as fun as what you can withstand, you know. Jerry and Will Fong says, "Thanks for an update, Bobby. Love the aircraft, but wanted to get parts, even if I have to wait." Absolutely. And look, you can you can um, get on Facebook and email um, Chris directly and tell him what you're looking for, and uh, he'll jump in there, man. Craig wants you to throw a link for the guy with the gas engines. Oh, cool. Absolutely. I will do that. Um, let's see here. Sorry about that. I'm just going to pull away here. And I'm sorry. Uh, I'm already on Google Honor. Yeah, that's the man, dude. Boom. Hmm. Oop. I think I have a link from one of the old videos I did. How about that? Wow, that was three years ago. There he is. Just highlight it. Where's it at, though? Right there. Right there. The actual link? No, just highlight oh, all that. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. I highlight all that and I then just drop it. it in there. It's his phone number and everything. Boom. Oh, no, you know, I didn't even see that. Okay, yeah, we're good. All right, here you go. Boom. There it is. Got the man's address in there and everything. So uh, 909-562-7106. That kind of came out a little funky mm -hmm. here. Let me just fix that up. Oh, well, you know. No. Nope. Just clean nope. it. No, nope. go down and space uh, that one. No, no, no. That's not what I want to do. No. It's going to merge together. I didn't want to do that. Yeah. I got it. I got it. Here. I'm just trying to put the phone number in there, buddy. I know. Hit space. Or hit no, I'm trying to do that. That's what I'm trying to do. Not none of that. There we go. There you go. Now you got it. So there it is. I didn't want all that other address stuff in there. You know what throws me off? It says Ontario, California. I didn't even know that was a thing. 
Seth says, Banana Hobby Lady got me all the parts via DSL just to keep me happy. She's awesome. Yeah, that's Carrie, by the way. So that's what I'm saying. DHL? DHL. DSL. Should be DHL. What is DSL? Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 Why you got to do that? <laughs> Why you got to be that guy, Jeff? <laughs> uh, oh, man. And look, we're live, man. You can't do that. Tell guys, sis, does anyone see the video on RC Groups about Hobby King? And they're rebuilding the company. Um, we kind of knew. Yeah, we kind of knew that already. Kind of knew that. They've been doing that for almost a year. Yeah. 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 They actually got a new owner. So, um, but yeah, Mountain RC. <laughs> that's funny, Joe. You messed me up, dude. You said it. Hey, but you you pointed it out, though. Yes. I don't particularly like to think about, oh, yeah, I already read that. All right, let me get back squared away. DHL or whatever. DHL. Well, I yeah. just said, yeah. you never hey, know. Like, hey. is there this new shipping service I need to know about? Yeah, like, hey, you hey. Know. I heard it gets there quick. Let's see. Buy the screw kit every time when ordering. Let's see here. All right. So I want to talk about expectations and stuff like that, but I need to. I expect to get what I pay for. Okay. All right. I hear you, Jeff. But. You know, you can put that in your lap. It would be easier. It's weird. That's different. You know what I mean? I don't do that. All right. <laughs> so, guys, when you buy a new airplane, now, you said when you buy a new airplane, you expect what, Jeff? Get your money out of it. You do. Yep, you, you get what you pay for. You, you get what you pay for. But here's the thing. And this kind of segues in. Let's just use the, uh, the F-14 for an example. You get a new airplane. When we do a maiden flight, I take it up there. Before I do the maiden flight, I look over it, right? Ball links, checking aileron right, left, obviously. You're looking at the plane to make sure it's good. You check your CG. You do all those pre-flight checks to make sure the thing is not going to crash. But, Jeff, you get this airplane from Horizon Hobby. How many of you guys are actually checking the servos in there and making sure the clevises are on, that they're actually screwed in there and stuff like that, and that the tail wheel's straight? And that the motor is not loose or anything like that. I can that. guarantee you one thing. What? If you put this plane in the air, mm -hmm. it's going to crash. If it I mean, it's going to fly. I mean, it's going to fly. It's going to fly for a little bit, and then it's going to crash because exactly. there's no screws in the, the landing gear. Exactly. Or the tail. So, and the linkage is not hooked up on the tail. This one is definitely going to crash for sure. Absolutely. But <laughs> I, like, I like what you did. But uh, – but the, the, the point of it is, is guys, you've got to check your airplanes, right? There's this expectation that you're buying an airplane, plug and play, it's ready to fly, throw your battery in it and go. A lot of people do that and have success. But really, you really should be going and doing your pre-flight of the airplane, like, and minimize. I'll give you an example. The turbine airplane. I go through pre-flight pre checks. Before I go up, before, you know, I taxi it out, I'm looking and everything like that. I take it up, fly it, that first revolution. I land it. I go through, check the surfaces. I fill everything. I've seen you do it with your big birds. You double check it to minimize that. Jeff said it best. You expect this thing to work every single time, but there could be a nine-year-old, a 10-year-old, uh, a 20-year-old building this thing on a weekend. You know what's crazy? You crash this thing because it's missing a screw. Whose fault is it? Is Tracy said it best. Whose fault is it? These are man-made. A man, man make that. So, like, mistake prone. mistake's going to happen. Mistakes are going to happen. She says that about, like, we had our bathroom on. Yeah. A, man, a man built a bathroom. What yeah. do you expect? It's not a robot. Exactly. And that's, you know, kind of how it is with airplanes. But how do you negate or minimize those risks? Doing your pre-checks. Doing your pre-checks. So like, It's like driving trucks. You do a pre-trip and a post-trip. You always do that. And I'm not, and I'm talking beyond your ailerons, right? Like, that's, that's given to us. Well, it's now given. You know, we didn't always do it. But, uh. I'm talking about like your intricate stuff. Like, let's say that if the F-14, the wings are articulating the servos and stuff. How many of you guys are actually checking the servos to make sure they're working proper, or checking the screws in there to make sure it's right? Right. So, I mean, everybody has their own. I'm sure some type of pre-flight. I know people that are throwing batteries and stuff and going like we did with the um. I've done the it. The Cherokee. Look, here's the thing. We did it with the Cherokee, but I started thinking about it, and I'm like. We've got to do it. And I was in conversation. I'm like. Me with the yeah. Viper 90. Yeah. Flew the Viper 90 out of the box. Did great. 
Right. Put the burner in it, remember? I just flew it 10 minutes prior. Yeah. So it's going to fly again. Well, remember I had to swap channel 1 to 2 and 2 to 1. <coughs> I remember. And as soon as it took off, guess what? The ailerons were reversed. Yeah. And, you know, you, you don't think that way because you just flew it. So yeah. that's why you, you should check every time. And and that's and the whole point of this is this conversation that we're having right now is going to save somebody's airplane out there right now, whether it be us or yours. I was the world's worst at just throwing an airplane up in the sky. Oh, you were. TJ was worse than you were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. TJ yeah. wouldn't even check the CG. I was. I thought you were crazy. I didn't not check CG rates. or rates. You would do CG sometimes, but not all times. And I was like, "Yeah, you guys are crazy." I'm like, "It's it's y'all are just gambling out here." One thing's going to happen. It's going to fly or it's going to crash. But you can minimize. The oh, risk. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And as you start getting into the larger airplanes, you now know, like on these big gas airplanes, you've got to minimize the risk. Like you can't. That's a lot of money up in the oh, air. Yeah. So well, I've lost know. a three thousand dollar airplane by not doing the project. That's right. That's right. Yeah. So <laughs> and you, it happens once, yeah. and you and you realize you won't do that again. I promise you. Yeah, I said that right. with ailerons too, though. But you know. I, I have to. You see me do it like multiple times. Rich Holland back. Treat it like it's a full-scale plane. Absolutely, guys. So when you get these airplanes, these plug-in plays, go through them. Check the servos. Check the, the control surfaces. That little control horn right there could be off. Like, you don't know. You'll only know when it fails in flight. I and think they should give these in the planes when you buy them as extra. I agree. I think they should. Yeah, I do too. You know, I, I think there should be extra. I have a couple extra. Sometimes they do. They give you a little extra clevises and stuff, but you really just need to check. Check your screws. Check the stuff that you don't normally check. We, we buy in these airplanes and we're like, I'm just going to throw a battery in it and go. And I'm watching the video of people with the F 14 and they're having all these crazy, you know, things that are going to fail. If you can minimize the risk, like, why not check it? Just go through. It's a pain in the rump. Check. But try it. What did I find out Sunday? That's My favorite plane. What did I find out was wrong with it? Oh, which one's your favorite plane? The Cessna. Oh, the 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 wing tube. No, no, but the wing tube. <laughs> the we're not gonna tell them about yeah, the wing tube. Oh, you don't want to tell them about a wing tube? Okay. Oh, we're I not, flew without a wing tube. We flew first without of all. a wing tube, but we're, 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 just the struts hold oh, the wing on. Oh, sorry about that. All right. Well, uh, which, the, the rudder uh, oh, servo. The rudder servo was bad. No, no, no. It was. It loose. was loose. It's loose. Yeah. It was bad. Yeah. It's the the glue had come undone. Uh, exactly. And I need which, to redo it. Which, like I said, we're flying the heck out of these airplanes. And and that plane is 10 years old. It's old. Yeah. So it, it, if you're flying an airplane, going through a – do a, 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 a better pre-flight, I guess you could say. And I'm not talking about checking your ailerons. That's, that's the basic stuff, right? Like, actually go and look inside the airplane. I started doing those – I started doing the turbines like that because there's – you know, it's a lot that can go on. But my gas planes, I'm doing them the same way. But I get to the foamies and I'm slacking because I'm like, it's foam. Yeah. You know what I mean? And had I done this, had I done this pre-check, guys, I bought a, a brand new, uh, well, it wasn't brand new, but it was basically flying like five or six times. I bought a Flex Innovation RV8, uh, got it used. I checked all the surfaces. Everything was looking good. The elevator on the back was doing something weird where it would hold up first and then it would go Boo, like that, like it would lose power. But I said, oh. It's my lipo. My lipo is weak because it wasn't full. Well, I get it, and I check the cortex and all that stuff. Take it to the airfield. Take it off fly. Click on the gyro, and then all of a sudden, boom. Had to buy a new fuselage at 120 some bucks. Get back home, pulling out the servos and everything, transferring it to the fuselage. That elevator servo was bad. Had I done a proper check and just stopped and paused and slowed down, I could have saved myself probably like a hundred and. 30 some odd bucks. You know, check this out. On sites, a Mountain RC thing. Range checks at my field gets overlooked a lot. I always do them. You know, Smart. I see you doing it. I do them. But I can probably count on one hand how many range checks I've ever done. And I'll tell you, I'm going to tell on myself because we're honest over here. I range check those big turbine jets um, because, you know, a lot can go wrong, but I don't range check my foam airplanes. I range Remember. check. Yeah, I never do. And I range check my big EDFs, the one in fives and stuff like that. But you're right. We should be doing this straight across the board. And so, you know, it's just one of those things that we really should be checking. So that's a cool cup. What's that say? He's, somebody's calling the Stanley mug, but it's um, R E 
I... It's remember everyone deployed oh, cool. until they all come home. Oh, so, nice. So Valhalla project. Valhalla. Okay, cool. Now oh, we're Vikings. It's not a, uh, <laughs> not a Stanley Cup, guys. It's cool. I like it. Stanley was cool before the women made it cool, though. I don't think you, you remember that do... big green thermos your dad yeah. probably had? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, you could put soup in that thing and keep it cold. I like for a hot week. in there for a whole <laughs> week. I'm serious. Uh, my daughter carries one to school because she likes soups and stuff now. So we put soup in there. But, uh, but yeah, guys, do your pre checks. But these are all valid things that we should be doing. But because it's a foam airplane, we're not doing it. I do it for the. Uh, oh, that's the fly right. I just realized who so, that is. What's up, Lou? Yeah. I didn't yeah. even realize. I just seen yeah. that question. He, he left a coffee mug on top of his car and found it, and it was crushed, dude. It crushed his soul, but he got one back. But, um, yeah, Jerry says, just like a race car going, got to do nuts and bolt checks. Yeah, and if you have a gas plane and everything like that, you should be checking your servo screws. I've lost an airplane to a servo screw. Why vibration? You don't have to worry about it so much with the, the electric airplanes, but, you know, just check your stuff. Will's right. You know, uh, Check uh, for grass in your EDF and your cheater vents. A little, a little tip. He's right. For these uh, the guys that fly gassers. Yeah. You know, especially the the bigger, you know, the bigger ones that vibrate a lot. Yeah. Put your little piece of fuel tubing mm -hmm. on your bolt, on your screw, when yeah. you're screwing your cowl on, and it'll reduce the vibration. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep, yep. I've done that Instead before. Instead of taking the, the nut, the bolt all the way in, the screw. Yep. Put your little piece of fuel tubing in between the screw <coughs> head. That's an old school yeah. trick. Yeah, it, it works. works. It works. You're absolutely right. That's old school, dude. Uh, one of the old timers, when I first got out there and I was getting into it, they told me that. Matter of fact, I think it was um, Wayne Parrish. Yep. Yeah. But he's right. And and it's and it's and it's fine. Tell on yourself if you do this stuff. Uh, Snow River says I've never done a range check. Right. Like Dunson Hinge, he's like, what's a range check? Um, Lionel Randall says, what do you think about the X Fly forty millimeter airline? It's coming out. It's going to be pretty cool. We'll talk about that here in a second. Um, but uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Flyright got a new mug. So Vivian one says, that's why heli pilots use the crap out of Loctite. Yeah, that vibration right there. Craig Bevan says, I rain check my stuff first flight, then don't bother it afterwards. Yeah, I'm the same way. I'll rain check it the first time, and I'll, I, I don't normally mess with it afterwards. I, I, my trust is built. But not to beat a dead horse. Go through your airplanes, do a thorough check, not just beyond, you know, left, right, up, down, you know, throttle up, throttle down. Yeah. Let's talk about that little X-Flight Twin 40 hey. twin liner. All right. We're going to pull it up so you guys can see. It's 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 cool, but it's a little small, man. I talked to Jeremy Stolt about it, and I said, what do you think about that little guy? He says, it's a nerdy little airplane that's fun and quirky. It's cool. I think it's cool, don't you? It's a little on the small size for me. I got the AL-37 down there. Yeah. Like, I don't think I'll go down to a 40 millimeter. Sorry. So, let's watch a quick video on it, guys, right? Um, and uh, let's, let's see what you guys think. Let's see here. Think brain. Think brain. Yeah. Boink. Think brain. Click. Think brain. There we go. And boom. All right, we're sharing and caring. Um, oh, sharing is caring for yeah. sure. All right, let's watch it. I'm gonna cut that music down a little bit so we don't get a strike. So, one thing that I noticed, I saw on the banana um hobby, you know, uh, channel, is they had pictures of it, but I couldn't really tell like the scale of it. That's a big 4S. That's a it looks like a 5000 4S. It says it's 2600. Is it? That thing looked kind of big, didn't it? it? I don't know, man. It, it It's cool. So, ish. I'm guessing. See, this is where this is where I don't and see like they're it. the little itty bitty women hands. Yeah. So they make the plane look bigger than they actually are. Is that what they're? Is this a ploy? Is what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But look, it takes off nice. But one thing I noticed that thing's got a ton of power. Yeah. It's got like unlimited vertical. Look how that thing's flying around. Yeah, but look at it twitching. It's small. <laughs> it needs a gyro to be honest with you. And I don't know if it has a gyro in there, but uh He's trying to be smooth, but he's not. Yeah. I think it's just the wind knocking him around. Yeah. But you know, twin forty millimeter, it doesn't hold a candle to that uh that eagle that you got. 
The Eagle's fun. With the gyro in there, man, that is the most fun airplane See ever. It moving? Like, I don't know. It just yeah. looks like it might be super light. I think that um, if they take the wheels off of it, it could be creating some type of drag, but you're right. And it could be a windy day out there. I'm looking at the trees. Are they like, there's like the St. Louis Arch, wherever they're at? Uh, Yeah, but that must be like the one in uh, <laughs> either Hong Kong or China or Taiwan. That's the copycat version. It could I, be. I got it. It could be. You know, they yeah. duplicate everything. <laughs> <laughs> funny man. Ah, funny, funny man. You know, they got to copy everything. You're not wrong. <laughs> so, but you can see he did that one inverted, and you can kind of see how it's flying and everything. So it looks like it's got ample power. Let's see how that little thing lands. Oh, he's inverted. Yeah. So that oh, shows everybody got, on that plane just threw up. It's got good power. So that's what he's showing. That butterfly is getting in the way. I want him to hit it for some reason. All right, setting up for a landing. Let's see how that thing does. You know it's squirrely in the air as it's flying there. So it's got to be squirrely on landing. It's going to come in slower hot. He's driving an Audi. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at that. Did you see it? Okay. That was different. What was that wagon going on? Ground effect? Yeah, it just must be windy. It came in kind of hot. I'm not sold on it, man. Not going to lie. Not sold on it? Not sold on it. Not sold on it. He said, nope. Should I close that right here? Yeah. All right, yeah. So, not sold on it. What do you guys think? All right, so I see Pilot Wilson. No retracts for me? Nope. Uh-uh. Let's see. The Aeros Viper 50 millimeter is the best jet trainer on the market. Anyone can fly. We definitely agree with you on that one. It's a plug and play. Put an AR six thirty in it with the gyro, the safe, and the yeah. and call it a day. Yeah, I think that's probably the best bet. Flying veteran says it looks like toy grade. It it you it know, does. It kind of does. It kind of does. But you know, like I said, it's kind of that quirky, kind of fun. It might fly great. It might. It might have just been a windy day there. We don't know. See you, Omaha. Thanks for coming in, man. Let's see. Craig Bevan says pass. Look. RC Flying Veteran says pass on that jump. Man. Flying Veteran says it well. Take it easy, guys. I have to bounce. Folks, don't forget to smash <coughs> that like button. Thank you, man. Hey, oh my, we appreciate you, man. Stay safe out there, buddy. Really do. So, uh, yeah. Oh, Jeff, we've been rolling over an hour. Right, yep. an hour and two. Time to shut her down. It's time to shut her down, boys and girls. We got to get back. But, hey, uh, we just wanted to cover over that. Make sure you check out that uh, big HSD. Uh, video again um check out the the 140 bucks off rc plane reviewer 10 percent off pretty cool um i told him i was like man if, if if one person uses it that's great you know that's great you know at least i know one person's paying attention to it, something yeah but anyway guys don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel jeff you got anything we're getting ready to punch uh, on out of here good it's we're, good. It's we're good. running it's out good. of gas man we've had fun so uh hey tune in to us next thursday we got more stuff coming Hopefully we get some good weather. We'll fly this thing up. Other than that, we're gone. See you, fellas. Y'all have a good one. Be safe.